Okay. Record. It only sees me, just to let you know. Okay, let's reach across again. Eric, did you want something? Okay. Welcome to yoga class. And for those who might tune in later, my name is Nicole, and this will be a gentle morning wake up kind of yoga, but you can do it any time, of course. And now back to the center, big bend in the knees, take a large breath in and reach up. And then fold forwards, let the hands use. Work as leverage as you reach with the head, elongating the spine. Then bend the knees, lift up, arms all the way up. Then we'll exhale, take the left arm down and reach the right one to the left side. Come back up to the middle. And then we'll go the other way. And back up. And let the arms float down. We're going to grab onto our left knee, draw it up in towards the chest. So this is a bit of a balance pose. You can hold on to something else with one hand. And then we we'll release. And then the other knee, lean, grab onto it, and then bring it up towards the chest. And then down, separate the feet, bend the knees softly, and we're gonna go around in circles with our hips. Otherwise known as hip circles. <laughs> so you can keep these kind of close in, or you can gradually work your hips out farther and farther, even swooping the upper body forwards if that's something that feels good to you. So we want to listen to our own bodies and do the kind of yoga that feels right. And then let's go the other way. <clears throat> and then back to the center. I'm going to check one more time to see if we have anybody else coming in. I said Debbie come in too. I want to make sure everyone made it. Great. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of swim stroke. So we'll alternate. She didn't make it. We'll alternate the arms going back as if we're swimming the swim stroke backwards. Okay. Did she or didn't she make it in? Yes. Okay. All right. So you're twisting a little bit each time as you reach. Now let's spread our fingers too. So we get a nice stretch throughout the hands. And keeping the knees working like springs. And then let's go forwards. So you guys have been at this while. Forwards. And then keep going as you reach up and forward. You're getting some stretch in your back, even maybe down as low as the hips. And one more time, each side, and shake the arms and the shoulders and the hands. And then we'll do some shoulder rolls. So let's take those shoulders forwards, up and around, squeeze in towards the neck so that you get a good warm up and massage of the lower neck. And then we'll go forwards. If you went forwards first, it's okay. As long as we switch it so we get to go both directions. And 
And we'll shake the arms and shoulders out again. Nice. Now let's separate the feet, maybe even as much as shoulder distance, keeping that soft bend in the knees. We're going to take our arms and let them kind of flop around the body, getting some more gentle twisting throughout the body and also uh, keeping our legs active. So we want to lift up the opposite heel, turn through the body. I haven't talked much about breathing yet, so see if you can focus on the breath throughout this. Nice deep Ujjayi breathing through the nose as much as we can. And then back to the center. Okay, let's take our left arm up and we're going to give it a good shoulder stretch. Bend the elbow and either reach up on top with the other hand and kind of guide that elbow around so that you can have your head up above the body still and feel a good stretch. And then if you'd like to, you can convert this to a reach up the back with the right arm. Whichever one you like best for today. And then breathe. Nice full breath each time. And then we'll reach our arms up, stretching upwards. Switch to the other side. Remembering about the head, so lift it back up if it's gone forwards. So we maintain a nice alignment of the spine all the way through the neck. And then if you want to convert this to a reach up the back, go ahead. I'll just show what the goal is, is to bring the fingers together and maybe hook them together. Not for everyone, so no sweat. And then we'll release that. Bring the arms around, give them a nice shake again. And we'll go ahead, standing at the front of the mat, and go into a nice down dog. So lift up. We'll bend forwards first. Just go down as far as it's comfortable. And then come up to a flat back. So we've done a few of these already. Elongating the spine, then back down. This time, place the hands on the mat and step back into a downward facing dog and walk the dog. So alternating, pressing the heels towards the floor. And we can let our chest sink between the shoulders a bit. So the shoulders even can come down towards the mat and our head can hang down. Now let's stretch our dog by reaching back with the hips even more. Lowering the chest and shoulders and elongating towards the hips. Now let's lift up the right leg. So we're in three legged dog, keeping the hips as level as we can. And then bring that leg down and we'll go up to three legged dog on the other side. Reaching up. And then bringing the foot down, come down onto the knees and sit back on the heels. And we'll do a nice neck stretch. So first let's warm up the neck a little, head going side to side. We'll just do about eight today, each way, each direction. And then we'll bring our heads to the center and go up and down. Nice nodding action, getting the head and neck moving. And then 
Let's let our chins drop down towards our chest, kind of tuck the chin in. That'll help you feel it up a little higher in the neck. And then we'll roll our head over to the left side. So ear towards the shoulder, shoulder stays. And then we'll roll the head slowly back down to the center and over to the right. So just do what you can do as long as you're comfortable. And then back down to the center and up. Okay, now we'll stretch our neck. So let's take our left arm up, bend at the elbow lightly. Let the arm come down to the head. Lift up through the crown of the head. And then we're going to tip towards the left side. Welcome to Pauline. And then bring our right hand up and draw the shoulder downward and breathe. So we get a nice neck stretch. Welcome, Pauline. I can see you now. And then we'll let the head come back up. Take the other arm up. Bend at the elbow so that the forearm is on top of the head just lightly and then tip to the other side. And then let, we can draw the shoulder downward if it's gone up a little or if we just want to elongate that stretch farther. And I didn't tell you that on the other side. And then we'll bring the head back up. Let's uh, let the arms just be relaxed. I'm going to turn the head to the left side and do a range of motion stretch. So we just turn as far as it's comfortable and then wait. And maybe we can take it a little farther to the side. And then back to the center, over to the other side, slowly moving through. And then Wait another breath. And then if it feels very comfortable and you want to try going a little farther around, go ahead. And then back to the center. Okay, now we're on our knees, or at least I am, maybe you're on your heels. Let's come up on our knees and we'll do a little leaning back. Just go as far as it feels right for you. And then on your inhale, come back up. On the reach back, we're exhaling. And then come back up to the center. Nice reach, nice posture. Taking the back at a nice lean and coming back up. And we'll do one more before we go into child's pose. So lean a little bit. Come back up, and then we're going to bring those hips back down and reach forward. So we're going into a child's pose where we're just going to wait here in the middle while the lower back stretches and focus on the breath. Then we'll slide or, or walk the hands a little to the left side, maybe a foot or so out to the side. Some people like to stack that opposite hand on top. So the right hand will be on the left. And then let's come back to the center, take a big breath in. And then on the exhale, we'll take the hands over to the right side, the hands, it's funny, the hands, and breathe.
and then back to the center and let's slide the hands back so we're sitting up. Okay, so now we're going to go on to one side and we're going to cross the other foot over by the knee and do a, a nice bent leg twist to the side. So I have my what looks like right leg bent. So what looks like my left arm wraps around and then we'll take a nice reach up and take the hand down behind the hip on the same side as the knee is bent upwards. And then reach upwards through the body. Nice seated twist. You can take your chest around as far as it's comfortable to go. You can do a simpler version of this too, especially if you happen to be sitting in a chair. You can just twist to the side. And then come back to the center and let's lean back on our hands with the fingers pointing forwards so we can stretch those legs up out in front of us. This is kind of like a half of a boat. And then bend the opposite knee, bring the foot to the outside of that knee that's down. And then wrap the arm around the knee so we can take the arm that's on the same size that we reach up, take it around. And then with our nice posture reaching upwards, we start to turn, not just the head, but the chest. So we feel it through the middle of the spine and even down by the hips and lower back. And so now focus on the breath. Now let's come back to the center and have some kind of a crossed leg seated pose. If crossing the legs is a little much, you can have one kind of out in front and the other one come in a little closer, or you can even go into the lotus. We're going to do a, a little bit of meditation now. So let's have the hands on the knees, palms up. And today we'll bring our middle two fingers to the thumb and let the index finger and the pinky stick out like deer horns. Sometimes this is called a deer pose. And then sit up nice and tall. So rock the pelvic floor back a little, draw the shoulder blades together, reach upwards with the crown of the head and close the eyes. So now the body is ready. Now with the eyes closed, focus on the breath. And we'll stay here for about six breaths. Nice and full breathing. your own breath. One more full breath. And now let's come out of our lovely meditation. Take our arms up above the head and weave the fingers together there. Turn the palms upwards and stretch. 
even getting in a little bit of a bend in the back, a little back bend. See if that works for you. And then slowly bring the arms back down. Let's unwind our legs, unfold them, and take one leg out to the side. We can keep one close and one out to the side. We're going to turn towards that foot and start taking the hands closer and closer so they can run along the top of the leg. And we're bending from the hips towards that foot. So we're getting a nice hamstring stretch in the extended leg. If you can reach your toes and want to grab onto them, that's fine. We're trying to keep our back straight. And then at some point, if you want to round the back a little bit so you can lean towards the leg, that's fine. And we can always keep a soft bend in that knee to help the stretch feel more like you're in a good alignment. And then slowly come up. And we might as well do a little side one while we're here. Let's turn our body the same. Uh, the same orientation as the extended leg so that we're uh, side and parallel. And then take the uh, hand that's by the extended leg and start sliding and reach the other one up. So this time, since our body is parallel, it's a side stretch. And we reach with the upper hand out away from us. We want to be extending and breathing, keeping the arm as much in line with the leg and the, up and the body, the ear, as we can, and then slowly come up. And let's go ahead and switch to the other direction. Turn the upper body towards the extended leg again. And and with the back flat, let's move the chest closer to the leg and the arms closer to the foot. And then breathe, wait while the stretch happens in the leg mostly. Keeping a soft bend if you need to in the knee. Nice full breathing. And then if you want to, so you can round the back about now a little bit so that you can bring the chest lower, maybe lower the head, it's up to you. So in these stretches, we get to feel each leg stretch very uh, more with more awareness. Let's slowly come up so that we have that hamstring stretch uh, individualized to each leg. Now let's turn the body to the side, take the other arm up and reach towards the foot so that we get a side stretch. Elongate through the spine. Nice, full breathing. And then we'll come up. Very nice. All right, so now we're going to come onto our knees and do some cow and cat. So if you would like to not have your head go downward, you can just keep it upwards. So let's reach the hips back and the head forwards and then curve the back up. So if you're keeping your head up, your neck won't be involved in this. But otherwise, let the head hang down. Breathe in, extend. Exhale, curve the back, bring the abs inward. And go ahead and do that at your own pace a few more times.
And then the last one. Come back to neutral. Let's come up on our knees and bring our left foot forwards and sink into a low lunge today. Keeping the chest up high, letting the hips sink downward. And then just like in our warrior one, this is a low version. We can take the arms forwards and up if you can keep your balance, otherwise hold on to something or the knee and stretch upwards and then sink the arms into the shoulder sockets. So modifications to this are to hold on to the knee or to lean forward, have the hands on the floor or hold on to something on the side. So you have a lot of choices. And then we'll come back up and bring that leg in. And now we'll go for the other side. So right foot forwards, sink slowly into a nice low lunge, keeping the belly drawn in and upwards, the chest lifted, the head lifted. Now let's take our arms up if we can. And then focus on the breath. We can reach up high and bring the arms into the shoulder sockets. And our drishti or our gaze can be straight ahead, or it can be part way up, or anywhere along that spectrum until you get to the hands and look beyond the hands. So just do what's right for your body, especially thinking of the neck here. And then we'll slowly come back up and bring the arms down and bring the foot back in. Okay, let's come forwards onto all fours again. We'll do another balance pose and this is a strengthening pose too. We're gonna take our right foot back along the floor, left arm goes out in front and then lift the right leg if you can. The fingers are spread and the wrist is under the shoulder and reach with the hand and foot. And then we'll bring those in and switch. Now the left leg goes back, the right arm goes forward, lift the left leg if you can and reach for the hand and foot are working their way away from the body, stretching, which causes a stretch all the way through the body. And then bring those in. So we're gonna come up to standing. If you want to, you can do a down dog on the way, otherwise, just make a nice gentle journey to get up onto your feet. So stretch and down dog. And then walk or jump, feet up to the hands, hang in a forward fold. And then arms go out to the side and we slowly come up, slowly, slowly. Taking the arms up above the head, reaching. And then let the arms float down. Give them a nice shake. We're going to take a moment to get a drink. So hopefully you all have one. If not, then just taking a little rest. The next thing we'll do is another balance pose, a tree pose. So if you'd like to have support on one side of you, go ahead and stand next to something that can support you. The wall or doorway, chair, whatever you can manage. All right, and then we'll stand on one foot, spread the toes out, get a nice sturdy grip on the floor, the arch remains. Bring the other foot close. I'm going to tighten up the abdomen. So we want to draw in the muscles 
and then lift them. Lift the foot off the floor, turn the knee as far outward as is comfortable, and then bring the hands to the heart center. Now, some of you may want to bring your foot up to the groin area, and that's fine. We just want to avoid pressing against the side of the knee. And then let's slowly lift the hand or hands upwards. And focus on your breath. Nice deep Ujjayi breathing. So you can feel it down, pressing into the belly, expanding the rib cage. Then we'll let the arm or arms float to the side and draw the shoulder blades closer together. So we're strengthening and straightening in the back. And palms are open towards the sky, symbolic of receiving new ideas. Take the arm or arms back up, stretch upwards, see if you can get the feeling of gaining a little height. And then bring the hands down to the heart center. Breathe here one more time inward. And as we exhale, we'll let the foot and the hand just come down and walk it out. It's a nice rolling through the feet. And then we'll switch to the other side. So a nice grip on the floor. We want our toes to work and kind of grip in there. Keep the arch alive there. Bring the other foot close. Now work on the abs, so you're sturdy through the hip region, lift the foot, turn the knee outwards, and keep the hips in line with the legs and shoulders and bring the hands to the heart center. From here, we'll slowly lift up, taking the hands as high as it's comfortable for you, so listen to your own body. And the goal might be eventually to bring the inner arms to touching the ears. But it's a yoga journey. We don't have to accomplish everything in one day. And we'll let the arms float out to the side. We'll do a little more stance. Draw the shoulder blades together. Open the palms. You can even let the fingers bend back a little bit if that feels good to you. And then back up. Again, we'll try to stretch upwards. Reaching all the way from the foot, our nice solid base, all the way through the leg and the body and the arms and then bring the hands to the heart center take another breath and then we'll slowly release and walk it out very nice let's separate the feet a little keep a nice bounce in the knees and do the twist we're going to do it without any music today so just imagine that music in your head and get a good action through that area underneath the rib cage that's where if we were to do this for 10 or so minutes you would probably feel it the next day right under the ribs you can always experiment with that on your own or we could do a separate day of a twist marathon <laughs> All right, so a little more twisting. And then let's go ahead and bring ourselves back to our center. And let's do a brief, uh-oh, I hope I have not lost you. Uh-oh. Let's see if I have. 
Enter password. You cancel. Come on. Uh oh. We are here. You are? You're here? Oh, that's fabulous. I can see no one and I don't know how to get them you all back, but we'll go with you seeing me. Okay. So we're gonna I can hear you. We can oh, hear but, you. But you cannot see me. Okay, um, so while while I try to get you all back, go ahead and do a quadricep stretch by reaching back one hand and holding on to the foot and drawing up toward the buttocks. So go ahead and do that. And oh, There's just an I have to be back. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so I see that you guys are doing your thigh stretch. So it's probably time to switch to the other side. Now you'll be able to see me, I think. Phew. <laughs> Thank you for saying something, Vicki. All right. <sighs> so how lucky that Vicki came in and wasn't muted. Yay. All right, we'll release that. And now we're gonna go down onto the floor on our backs and put our legs up. So another sip of your drink might be helpful. And then we'll be on the floor the rest of the time. So let's have our legs up nice and high if you can bring your hips close. If not, you can have a nice soft angle through the legs and support the feet up on top. So as people are settling in, let's do a few reaches with our arms up over our heads and big chest expanding breath. And then exhale, bring the arms to the sides again. So we'll be on our backs the rest of the time, just in case anybody didn't hear me say that. And then reach up and over. And arms back to the sides on the exhale. You can kind of press in the belly to get all the air out. And one more, arms up and over. And then arms down at the sides. Let's take the arms up above. Now, if you have tired arms, you can leave your upper arms on the floor, but otherwise reach up. And you can leave your heels on the support or lift the feet up. And let's do some pointing and flexing. Give some attention to our wrists and ankles. And then let's draw the feet and hands back towards the body. So a nice flex. And then forwards, we get a good stretch. And then back again, stretching the back of the legs. And then forwards again. So now it's the top of the foot, front of the legs. And now circles. And then the other direction, and we'll do that twice. So switch again. And then switch again. All right, let's rest those heels back up there. We're gonna scrunch up the hands and toes. And then we'll spread the fingers and the toes apart as far as we can reach them. And then scrunch them up again. So this is good on an exhale. And then on the inhale, it's nice to spread the fingers and toes out. Reach, reach, reach. 
Okay, and relax. Now we're going to bend our right uh, knee so that we can bring our right ankle to the knee. And then slide the left foot downward. So you may or may not get to parallel. But if you do, that means you're probably getting a good stretch in the hip, the right hip. So flex the foot that's on top. You can flex both if you want. And then if you need even more, so I scooted my hips pretty close to my support. So this, once the foot um, on the left foot gets pretty much parallel and in line with that left knee, it's already giving me a pretty good stretch in the hip. But if you need more, go ahead and grab on to the left knee and bring it closer. So we're targeting our piriformis muscle on the right side. And then just breathe, relax the shoulders on the ground. Keep the foot flexed, especially the one that's on top, that right foot. And see if you can press the right knee a little bit farther away from you, just using the muscles in the legs and hip, in the right leg. Uh, that way you get a deeper stretch in the piriformis. And then we'll send the legs back up. Let's do some angel wings now. So the hands go down by the hips. We're gonna slide them or let them hover along the floor, out to the sides and then up. Just as far upwards as you can comfortably go. And then work their way back down. And then the arms go out and up again. And take them as far as they comfortably can go. And then exhale, let them come back down. Nice. Now we'll switch to the left side. So then the left, so the left ankle is on the knee. Slide that right foot down. Flex the foot, encourage the left knee to move away from you. And if you still need a bit closer position with the right knee, then lift the foot away from your support. Or you can tip towards the right side a little bit and that will also deepen the stretch. And then focus on the breath. Relaxing the shoulders, close the eyes if you want to. Feel that nice stretch happening in the left hip area. And then let's let our feet go back up on our support. Take the arms out to the sides. Then we'll reach our right arm across and bring the left hand up to the upper arm and just bring it in so you get a nice stretch in the lower shoulder and the top of the arm. We'll just do a couple breaths on each side. So then switch to the other side, arms go out. Bring the left arm across. This is just a nice brief little reminding the shoulder that we haven't forgotten about it. Giving it a little stretch again. And opening up the arms. 
Nice. Now let the legs come down. And we're going to move so that we're back on our mats. If you are no longer on your mat, scooch around. And again, take the arms to the sides. We're going to do some of our windshield wipers. So we're going to go quickly over to the left and back to the center, quickly over to the right, back to the center. So the knees are just kind of falling over to the side, left side and then the right side. Now try to take the head the opposite way. Knees left, head right. Knees right, head left. Knees left, head right. Knees right, head left. And back to the center. Now we'll do a couple where we stay in that position. So let the knees go over to the left and turn the head to the right. Let the shoulder blades come together and relax the shoulders onto the floor. And we're looking out beyond that right hand. So do that and then close the eyes and imagine that you can look way, way out beyond the right hand. Across a lush valley with a lot of beautiful flowers. And then down towards a, a river that runs out to the sea. And let your imaginary gaze follow that river out to the sea and way out to the horizon where you can see where the clouds and the sea meet. Feel a nice breeze from the ocean on your skin. And if you like the sun, feel the sun on your skin. If you like the shade, and you have to imagine that there's a nice big shade tree nearby. You can feel the coolness of that shade. Breathe there, enjoying where you are. The beautiful view. Now you can hear some birds singing. And when you look out, you can see some flying over the ocean. Maybe one is an albatross gliding by. And then return to the center. Let the knees go over to the right and turn the head to the left. And find that place again. So you can still feel the nice breeze and the nice coolness on your skin if you're in the shade or the warmth if you're in the sun. And this time we're gonna relax our eyes and our forehead. Soften there the brow and the forehead and the top of the head all softening the muscles. The back of the head the temples, and then your cheeks. You can feel the muscles in the cheeks getting softer, relaxed around the nose and the mouth, and the jaw. And now just focus on the breath. Nice, full, breath every time, big breath in, and then exhale a lot of air. Listen to your breath too. And one more breath here. Roll back to the center, reach between the feet, grab onto the big toes, reach the feet up, rock a little bit side to side. Shortened version of our happy baby. Then back to the center, reach the legs out. Get a nice stretch. You can unbend somewhat in the legs or all the way if that feels good, or you can reach the feet farther up, 
and then bring the knees in. One more back stretch. And then place the feet on the floor, stretch the legs out. And we'll do a full body stretch, arms up and over, reaching with the hands and feet, really getting a good inhale. Exhale, return the arms to the sides, palms go up. Shoulder blades move in, and we relax the shoulders down. Now close the eyes again. Just like when we were on that hillside looking down to the valley. Then hear different sounds in your environment. Just notice things around you and notice how your hands feel, your feet feel, the muscles in your shoulders, the legs on the floor. And then let thoughts drift away from you and enjoy beautiful Shavasana.
just start wiggling your toes and your fingers. Take your time bringing your awareness back to class. You can stay lying down if you'd just like to rest through the end. But if you'd like to do some ohms or sit up and stretch, that's fine too. So it's perfectly fine to stay lying down, not a problem. So once you've gotten a chance to wiggle your fingers and toes, stretch the hands and wrists, go ahead and if you choose to, sit up. We'll take a nice breath in and reach the arms over the head. And then bring the hands to the heart center. <laughs> now we'll do some ohms. Let's take a deep breath. Oh. Oh. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you all for being here today. Namaste. And good job. Yay, we did another yoga together. Namaste, Nicole. <coughs> Thank you, Sandy. Namaste. Thank you.